All right, what we're doing is uh, we're doing a video on the uh, molar certification number three, and we just figured out the molar masses of these uh, objects. I'm gonna go through the entire lesson on how to do a limiting reactant problem and percent yield, and that will, that's everything in the chapter. Okay, so here's where we go. So on the video, watch the video, have your uh, thing out here. We're having a quiz on Monday. We're gonna start a test halfway through Tuesday, finish it on Thursday. All right, so first thing I wanna do is, uh, do we have a balance equation? Now, I balanced it for you, didn't I? Okay, that's the good news. Now, the, when I was walking around yesterday, here's what people were not doing right. See this little asterisk here? See that, see that, see how they match? I'm gonna change this into moles and put it here. I'm gonna change this into moles. Do not put it in the same row. You got that? Do not put it in the same row. All right, so let's try it. Would everybody do that now? We're gonna do, this is a shortcut, okay? We're using a shortcut. The whole test is shortcut. You got that next week? It's all shortcut. So what's the shortcut way of changing moles into grams? And you don't wanna go duh, duh, down the mole world. You divide by the molar mass. So on your calculator, 0. 0.525 divided by 159.5. Everybody do that. Even if you have to use your phone. If you have to use your phone as a calculator, let's do it. All right, hang on just a minute. Now, does everybody have it? Okay, uh, what do you have? That's only one sig fig. Sean, you're on it. You were on it today. Hey, can everybody look at me? When you go left to right, when you go left to right, you don't start counting sig figs till you get to non-zero. That's the first sig fig. There's the second. There's the third. Now, I do look at the fourth one. The fourth one must not have been big enough to change that nine. Is that right? Now, can everybody stop? I should not be walking around the room and people get the wrong number here. You get that? That's what I was seeing. Okay, now let's go ahead and do this one. How do you get down the mole row for this one? Put it in a different row. Put it in a different row. Let's do it. You have it already? I'm going to change this into moles and put it down here. Okay, everybody do that. We're going to wait. I'll call on one person. Let's see what they have. Zach, are you able to do this today? Do you have a calculator? Okay. Uh, do you have a number for me, Zach? Because what you do is you take two and you divide it by the the uh, molar. So you divide it by one sixty six point one. One two what? Okay. Very good. What do you think? Does everybody get that? That's good. That's good. Now, if we fill in one more box, I'll be able to tell you who the limiting reaction is. So here we go. I'm going to go sideways in the mole world, and we're doing shortcut, aren't we? So, Sean, when you go sideways in the mole world, you don't worry about molar mass. That's not where your numbers come from. They come from what? Okay, so watch two, five, two five gotta get bigger which fraction will make you bigger two fifths or five halves okay so take this number right here times five divided by two all right um mally what do you have now does everybody have that so when I, if i were to walk around the room everybody has that right Okay, now, look at this right here. What is the limiting reactant using words and three numbers up here? Tell me who the limiting reactant is. Are you ready? Here's the story. All right, here's the story. I have, see a little asterisk? I have this much peanut butter. Look, I have 0 0.00392 moles of copper sulfate. I would need, I would need 0 0.00823 moles of bread, or Ki. How much bread did you bring? Where do I find that at? Is everybody focused on me? 
this is how much I have, this is how much I'd like to have to use up all the peanut butter, but how much, how do I know how much you brought? Where's that at? It's down here where this asterisk is, isn't it? So I, I brought more than you're gonna use. What does that mean? If I brought more than you're gonna need, then I'm gonna be the one that's called what? The excess reactant. Well then who's the limiting reactant? Who's gonna limit? So whatever box the copper sulfate's in, that's gonna limit the reaction. This is the limiting reactant. All right, so now guess what? The, I don't care if the bread said we're gonna make that many sandwiches, it's not gonna happen. This is the story that's gonna happen. Uh, we're we gonna make this, no you're not. That's not gonna happen. This is the story, right? You're gonna run out of peanut butter before you run out of bread. And that's why all these have to do. So now, let's do shortcut. Are you ready for shortcut? Ready? Two, two, two. Magic, magic, magic. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Magic, magic. Are you okay on that? Now, raise your hand if you're not sure what I just did. Raise your hand if you're not sure. Okay, now, how in the world am I going to get that number? All right? You want to go from here to here? We can do that. Two, one, gotta get. So what are you gonna multiply by? Do it. Number, take that number times a half. Uh, do you have this one, Luke? You gotta do it. What is it? One six. What's the next number? Five. Okay. Is that right? About like this? That's fine. Four. Okay. You okay? I'm all right. You know what? We are almost there. Because I know these moles, how do I get find all those? How do we do? How do you come up out of the mole world? Let's do it now. Ready? Take this times what? Take this times that. Take this times that. Let's do that. Let's find these. Again, this is a very short class, so just stay with me and just focus. Probably the worst thing you could do right now is wait until I write these down. And write, don't do that. You write these down before I do, and then you check your work. Uh, who haven't called on? Uh, Aiden, do you have this number yet? Uh, I got 0.618. Okay, and I, 618, 617, I'm okay with that. Um, let's see, uh, Riley, do you have this one? 0.693. Again? 0.693. Okay, that's what I had. And uh, Ben, what do you have for this one? <laughs> what now? Oh, that means you already did this one? No, I just did it. Okay. The reason I'm doing this, I just want to make sure if everybody can do this problem, I know you can do the rest of them. All right, who, um, Sean, do you have this one? Yeah, I got point, uh, .572. Okay, does everybody have something like that? All right, so what we can do is I'm going to jump all the way down to this problem here, percent yield. What is percent yield? What's, how do you find the percent of correctness? Actually yield, hey, that's one of the vocabulary words on the test. Actually yield over what? And then you to times 100 just moves the decimal over two places. All right, so here we go. <clears throat> A chemistry student did this experiment in class. His mass was 0 0.06. That means that actual, when he actually did the experiment, he got that. <clears throat> but what was what was the theoretical? Can everybody look up here? What is the theoretical for KI3? 
What, what could you have gotten in the perfect world? And, and by the way, all these numbers are theoretical. You get that? Nobody got any equipment out here, did they? So what is the theoretical number for KI3? There you are. And again, the only time, the only reason I do times 100, because it moves a decimal over, changes the decimal to a percent. Put that in there. What's everybody getting? Who haven't I called on yet? Rachel, I haven't called on you, right? Okay, go ahead. Tell me when you're done. Tell me. Okay. Well, did you have 0 0.60 here? Did you have 0 0.693 or something else? Uh, okay, so um, 689. I'm trying to think how I got that. Did you, what did you have up here? Did you have 0 0.00165 or not? Okay, I see. That, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. So somewhere around 86%. Is that correct? Is everybody getting about 86 on this one? I got 86.6. You got 85. Okay, something like this. All right. <clears throat> what, what do you think? All right. Now, what I want to do is, um, what I want to do is, I want to show you the hardest problem on here. I think that one right there is. Okay, so let's do this one. How many moles of excess reactant will be left? And how many grams is that? All right. How many people you feel pretty confident you know how to do that? One, okay, two, three. Okay, let me show you now. Watch excess. Am I going to do copper sulfate or am I going to do the KI? Why? I had more than I needed, didn't I? So that, I gotta go up here. Now, how much KI did you bring? This one or this one? Really? Why did it not have an asterisk on it? You see, the asterisk, that's how much I actually brought. So I brought 0 0.0120 moles of KI. And how much ended up being used? See the asterisk? I brought that much bread. But how much bread did you use, Mr. Peanut Butter? I only used this much. Everybody got that? Double check my numbers. So you understand the subtraction problem? So one more time. I brought this much, but you only use this much. And so I subtract, isn't it right? I keep looking at your faces. I'm not sure, is that... Is everybody okay on that? But then it asks for not how many moles, it also asks for how many grams. And so let's do the, uh, let's do this 0 0.003, is that 77? Yeah. How do I, how do I show my work changing moles to grams? And this is moles of KI. Moles of KI, I'm gonna change it to grams of KI. And what do we know about that? Please don't wait. Don't wait till I write it. What would you write here? How do I make the conversion from moles to grams? One mole of KI is the same as 166.1 grams. Do you see how I have all the numbers I have or where I want them? And then what's that number come out to be? Does somebody have a hit on that yet? 0.62, something like that, something like that. <laughs> what do you think? One more time. I brought this much. I only use this much, so I subtract. That's how many were left over. How many moles are left over? How do you change moles to grams? Like that. Okay. The only thing that's not in this problem is. Uh, a gas. Now, unfortunately, none of these are gases, so I can't use 22.4. But does everybody know how to do? What's the shortcut if you got um, if you have moles and you want to go to liters? What's the shortcut? Moles times 22.4. You get that? So one mole of any gas. So that's the only thing I did not show you on here. All right. So what do you think? 
except for 22.4, this is everything in the chapter. It's just, can you do it? All right, so Ben, you've been working on this of these? Okay, all right. So you have the rest of, you know, it's only five more minutes, but you have five more minutes. And what I'll do is I'm going to walk around a room, and if you individually said, I just didn't get what you said there. Um, so I'd like you to work on this weekend. Now, I'm okay if you don't turn this in till Tuesday, okay? But I would recommend if you can get it done, you'll be a whole lot more ready uh, for the quiz, okay? All right, so let me stop the video.